have held talks on a potential bid to buy the broadcasting rights to Scottish football. The old firm are unhappy with the deal being offered by Sky and ESPN following the collapse of Satanta last month. Well, Debbie Edward joins me in the studio now with details of the bid. Debbie. John, at the moment, the only offer on the SPL board table is a joint bid from ESPN and Sky. They've offered to pay £65 million over the next five years for the TV rights of Scotland's top flight. That's half of the £130 million the SPL would have banked from Satanta over four years. But Celtic and Rangers say they're not happy with the deal and at the weekend the old firm got together to come up with an alternative. They're prepared to pay £25 million for the TV rights for the next two years. Now that doesn't look like a better deal but the old firm claim that their 10 SPL counterparts will have the potential to earn more money from pay-per-view sales. But to get any such deal through they will require the backing of at least eight other clubs. And with TV money accounting for almost half of the income of some of the smaller SPL clubs is a decision which requires careful consideration. Since the demise of Satanta, uncertainty has surrounded the future of televised football in Scotland, but that looked likely to be settled on Thursday when SPL bosses meet to vote on a deal from broadcasters ESPN and Sky. The board will now, however, have a second offer on the table at Hampden. Rangers and Celtic putting forward their own bid for the TV rights to the Scottish Premier League. It's an approach which has proved successful elsewhere in Europe. Holland is the latest country where clubs negotiate their own TV deal. But the managing director of Dutch television has told STV News so far it's not a success. For now, there, you can say that there is a winner and you can say there is a loser. But in the long time, I want to see if the clubs are being successful to regain the same amount of money as they did in the past. Beyond the revenues involved, one expert says the main obstacle facing the old firm is time. I think it's unrealistic to be able to set up um, a new channel or a new means of selling the rights um, before the start of the next season. Do you think the rest of the SPL are likely to accept this deal from Rangers and Celtic? I, th I think it's un unlikely at this stage that the other clubs will really be seeing this as a serious offer for the season. I think these clubs um, will be looking at what's on offer from existing broadcasters, will be looking at that as giving them security of income which will allow them to be sustainable over the next season. Of the eight SPL clubs the old firm need to support their proposal, Aberdeen are the most likely to give their backing. But no club was today willing to go on the record. One chairman telling STV News he was waiting to hear the details. Another saying he found it hard to believe the deal could get off the ground with just a month to go till kick-off in the new season. John, it looks unlikely that this proposal can take shape in just four weeks. The country's clubs have already been stung by the collapse of Satanta, so you'd expect them to avoid taking any more risks with the broadcast deal they'll choose. You remember that we've already seen one attempt at SPL TV fail in the past. Debbie, thank you for that.